Hey what's up guys, it's Andrew back again with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make professional lower thirds for free. Now the cool thing about this is, is that it does not require Photoshop or any other paid software as the software that we'll be using today is a free online program called Pixlr. So in a nutshell, Pixlr provides the bare bones of a more Photoshop experience while still maintaining the necessities and some other cool features as well. So today we're going to be creating a simple semi-transparent overlay, however all the customization that's possible with this program is pretty near limitless. So to start, go ahead and click the link in the description below which will take you to Pixlr's website. Now once you're there, go ahead and scroll down a bit and then click launch web app and enter the canvas creation page. Now once there, you're going to want to create a new image to set the base resolution for the overlay. Now while it's not super important, it is desirable that you set the resolution of the image the same as the video in which you plan to put the lower thirds in, as this will ensure that you maintain the highest quality and don't lose any resolution. So in my case, since my video is 1080p, I will set the resolution accordingly. However, if you have a different resolution in mind, that I will include some sample presets on the screen, as well as in the description. Now last but not least, check the transparent box so that it's much easier to drag and drop right onto your video later on. Alright, so now we're ready to go. Go ahead and click OK and the canvas will immediately appear. Now because we selected the transparent box, the background is transparent, which if you've never seen it before, it looks a lot like a checkerboard. So the entirety of the checkering is the screen real estate of our video. So wherever you position the lower thirds on the background is precisely where it will appear in your video. Now to get started, go ahead and select the drawing tool. Now depending on what shape you want your lower thirds to be, you can choose from a rectangle, a round rectangle, or an ellipse. Now once the desired shape is selected, go ahead and choose your opacity. Now I personally like a slightly transparent lower third, so I'll set it around the 75 to 80% mark. However, it all depends on what you need for your project and you can set it accordingly. Now skipping over the not so important mode, Border size is what we'll talk about next. So although I don't usually enable borders, you can set it higher if you want, however I personally would not go past 10. Now last but not least, you can choose your fill color, which of course will simply govern the color of the lower third, and of course can be anything you want. Now once the settings are set to your liking, click and drag to preference the ideal size of the lower third, and release to complete. Now next, by selecting the move tool, you can drag the lower third to the desired spot on the screen, which typically will be in the bottom left corner. Now believe it or not, we're almost done, and all we need to do is add some text. Now of course, this can be anything you want, but for the purpose of the video, I will simply put in, leave a like. Now once done with that, we're done in Pixlr. So go up to File, and Save, and make sure to save it to your computer as a PNG to maintain background transparency. Now this will only work with softwares that support multi-layer editing. So in the case of Premiere Pro, I simply imported it into my current project, and as you can see with a simple click, drag, and release, the lower thirds overlay is now present in my video. Now while you could just leave it like this, chances are that you want it to slide in and out. Now doing this is very simple and applies to Premiere, Sony Vegas, and pretty much any editing software out there. Now while I typically will use keyframing for any animation inside of Premiere, you can achieve the exact same effect with a different and simpler approach, which uses a simple transition as opposed to complex animations. Now in Premiere, this happens to be the push transition, and is similar still in Vegas, and something like Camtasia. Now to do this, simply go to the Effects tab, search for Push, then drag and drop the effect onto the beginning of the lower thirds. Now by default, the slide is pretty slow, so to speed it up, simply zoom into the effect on the timeline, and shorten it by clicking and dragging the edge of the effect on the clip. Now once you've achieved your desired speed, we're going to need to do the exact same thing for the end of the lower third. Now you'll notice that if we drop the effect on the end, instead of retracting back to the left side of the screen, it keeps protruding out into the middle until it disappears on the far right of the screen instead. Now don't worry, because this is extremely easy to fix. All you need to do is click on the effect on the clip, navigate to the effect controls, and select the reverse option. Now as you can see, the effect plays in reverse, and the lower third will retract back to the left side of the screen again. Now, while I didn't mention this before, if you do have plans for a lot of lower thirds in your video, then it may make sense just to make one, just like we did in Pixlr a moment ago, but leave out the text completely, and then simply add the text later on in your editing software. Now I do this all the time for all the lower thirds that I make, which makes it much easier and way less of a hassle to have to go into Pixlr every time. Well that's all for this video. If you liked it and you want to see more videos like this, then please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and until next time, thank you for watching.